Uh, it takes a lot of guts uh, for anybody else to be sitting next to the head coach nowadays. So, Alondra, you know, I guess it shows maybe how tough you are or maybe not how much intelligence you lost in playing. But I'd, I'd like to talk first about uh, Terry Vaughn. Had the opportunity, obviously, to uh, see Terry on, on both sides of the football. Uh, he started his career here, and then when I spent some time up north, had the opportunity to uh, coach Terry Vaughn, and then he went on to the Hamilton Tiger Cats before he chose not to play any longer. And when you think of Terry Vaughn, you just think of Yak. It's yards after catch. When you throw Terry Vaughn a football, uh, the first person you see could never tackle Terry. And it was uh, rather interesting how this day actually came about that uh, we have uh, two gentlemen that will retire as members of the Calgary Stampede Football Club. Uh, they have a little work actually to do with me. I have a contract for them to sign and the retirement letter goes in at exactly the same time so it allows us to have both Terry Vaughn and Alondra Johnson uh, come out one more time. Uh, I don't know if they know it yet, but I'm um, wanting them to be in the locker room before we take the field. I want them to lead our football team out, and they're also our honorary captain for the, uh, the game. And so there is a little bit of pressure. I expect them to win the coin toss. If not, uh, go off on the other side of the field. Uh, I can actually attack these guys because they're not necessarily with equipment on. But uh, it, it's actually, I think, both uh, Terry Vaughn and Alondra Johnson uh, deserve to finish their careers as Calgary Stampeders. Alondra Johnson and I have had an opportunity to, uh, he was playing, I was coaching, and uh, one of the better linebackers to ever play for the Calgary Stampeders, and, and there have been many. And uh, it's indeed an honor to share the opportunity to podium right now but also to have an opportunity for one last time to uh, see the jersey has not been worn since he's played. So, Alondra, if you wouldn't mind putting it on one more time for us. All right. <coughs> that jersey will be taken away from him after uh, the, the game is over. It will actually be put in a frame, and we will make sure that we uh, uh, let you have this in a frame version. And then if anybody wants to then wear it afterwards, they got to take it out of the frame. <laughs> you actually look pretty good in that jersey. Are you bigger or do they shrink? <laughs> well, they, they actually make them tighter so the offensive linemen can't grab them. That's right. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. And so, uh, Alondra, over to you. You were never short on any words, so I can't imagine this will be the case as well. Well, it's a different occasion, but it's, uh, it's truly an honor to be back in a Stampeder jersey. And it's just an exciting time in my life. It's a new season in my life. And it's just the beginning of um, good things to come in the future here. Um, throughout the years as a Stampeder, it was always an organization that was full of pride and tremendous respect was gained throughout the league from other opponents. But I think the thing that was most significant was the uh, the management and how they conducted themselves and how the professionalism that they demonstrated was was just awesome all the time. It was just uh, quite a love-hate relationship because you love to play for them, but you hate to leave. And I I played my heart out here, and this is where I left my my uh, stripes. And. You know, it's a lot of great memories, a lot of great teammates, a lot of great people that I've met throughout the years. And it's, it's just something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life, this time and being honored in this way. It's, uh, it's quite special. It's quite special. And I don't know about tomorrow. Maybe I'll get a little emotional when the fans are screaming and yelling, but you know, it's part of my part of me. I was a very emotional player and I I showed it. And you know, some of these guys who I played against, like Kahari and Millington, they know that I was very passionate and they were too. And it's, that's what you have to have when you step out there on the field. It's a lot of passion. And you gotta play with some emotion. But through it all I have no regrets. I'm thankful 
God has blessed me in so many ways. It's, um, it's a memorable moment. It will be after it's all over, said and done. But it's, it's really, really, really special to me. And I'm just excited to be a part of Stampede organization and being able to be retired as a Calvary Stampeder. That's it. Are there any questions for AJ, myself, about Terry Vaughn, about tomorrow night, as far as uh, AJ and Terry Vaughn are concerned? AJ doesn't get off the hook. He's going to stay right here as we uh, ask some questions. We'll, we'll start talking about tomorrow's game. And any questions come to mind? I was going to say, after two games like that, we're going to give a pep talk to the guys. What would you say if you're going to give a pep talk? Well, the biggest thing is just come out and play with a lot of heart and a lot of passion and a lot of emotion. You know, come out and play every down like it's the last down. And just do your best. Don't worry about mistakes. Go out there and do your best and let them let your play show what you're made of. Because those guys are, yeah, they're struggling, but football and fo professional football, you're going to struggle. But it's how you respond to that adversity is what builds the character of this team. AJ, hey, I know it's probably tough to pick the number one moment, but let, what would you say would make your top one, a memory that would make your top five of you know, your best moments as a Stampeder? I would have to say receiving the President's Award being voted by my teammates as a leader for on the field and off the field. You know, when you're um, honored in that way by your teammates, it means a lot because then they respect you as a player, not only on the field but off the field. And I, I cherish those, those times when, when my mom was able to come and be a part of it as well as my family. And it was, it was a great time. You know, it's, it's all about team. And if your teammates can respect you for your play on the field and off the field, that's what it's, uh, that's what it's about. It's gaining their respect and their trust. Because it is a unit, and they have to work as one. And if those guys chose me, because they chose me as a leader for that Presence Award, it's, uh, it's just another tremendous honor. I don't think it was only once, I believe it was twice. It was twice. The, right. the President's Award, uh, uh, Jay McNeil has just yeah. uh, won it twice, but it's, uh, it is one of the greatest honors that uh, can be bestowed upon a Calgary Stampede football player.